Good morning. Thank you for joining with me. We are on page 104 in A Course in Miracles text, chapter 6, The Lessons of Love, section 5, The Lessons of the Holy Spirit, and this is part A, To Have, Give All to All. We are reading out of A Course in Miracles, Foundation for Inner Peace, 3rd edition. If you would like to close your eyes and join me in a prayer. Dear Father, please allow me to set aside everything I think I know about everything. God, please enable me an open mind for a new experience in all things today. And so it is. Amen. To have, give all to all. <clears throat> Excuse me. When your body and your ego and your dreams are gone, you will know that you will last forever. Perhaps you think this is accomplished through death, but nothing is accomplished through death because death is nothing. Everything is accomplished through life and life of, is of the mind and in the mind. The body neither lives nor dies because it cannot contain you who are life. If we share the same mind, you can overcome death because I did. Death is an attempt to resolve conflict by not deciding at all. Like any other impossible solution, the ego attempts, it will not work. God did not make the body because it is destructible and therefore not of the kingdom. The body is the symbol of what you think you are. It is clearly a separation device and therefore does not exist. The Holy Spirit, as always, takes what you have made and translates it into a learning device. Again, as always, he reinterprets what the ego uses as an, in as an argument for separation into a demonstration against it. If the mind can heal the body, but the body cannot heal the mind, then the mind must be stronger than the body. Every miracle demonstrates this. I have said that the Holy Spirit is the motivation for miracles. He always tells you that only the mind is real because only the mind can be shared. The body is separate and therefore cannot be part of you. To be of one mind is meaningful, but to be one body is meaningless. By the laws of the mind, the body is meaningless. To the Holy Spirit, there is no order of difficulty in miracles. This is familiar enough to you by now, but it has not yet become believable. Therefore, you do not understand it and cannot use it. We have too much to accomplish on behalf of the kingdom to let this crucial concept slip away. It is a real foundation stone of the thought system I teach and want you to teach. You cannot perform miracles without believing it because it is a belief in perfect equality. Only one equal gift can be offered to the equal sons of God, and that is full appreciation. Nothing more and nothing less. Without a range, order of difficulty is meaningless, and there must be no range in what you offer to your brother. The Holy Spirit who leads to God translates communication into being just as he ultimately translates perception into knowledge. You do not lose what you communicate. The ego uses the body for attack, for pleasure, and for pride. The insanity of this perception makes it a fearful one indeed. The Holy Spirit sees the body only as a means of communication and because communicating is sharing, it becomes communion. Perhaps you think that fear as well as love can be communicated and therefore can be shared. Yet this is not so real as it may appear. Those who communicate fear are promoting attack and attack always breaks communication, making it impossible. 
Egos do not join together in temporary allegiance, excuse me, but always for what each one can get separately. I'm going to repeat that. Egos do not join together in temporary allegiance, but always for what each one can get separately. The Holy Spirit communicates only what each one can give to all. He never takes anything back because he wants you to keep it. Therefore, his teaching begins with the lesson to have give all to all. This is a very preliminary step and only one you must take for yourself. I'm sorry, and the only one you must take for yourself. It is not even necessary that you complete the step yourself, but it is necessary that you turn in that direction. Having chosen to go that way, you place yourself in charge of the journey where you and only you must remain. This step may appear to exacerbate conflict rather than resolve it because it is the beginning step in reversing your perception and turning it right side up. This conflicts with the upside down perception you have not yet abandoned or the change in direction would not have been necessary. Some remain at this step for a long time, experiencing very acute conflict. At this point, they may try to accept the conflict rather than take the next step toward its re resolution. At this point, they may try to accept the conflict rather than take the next step towards its resolution. Having taken the first step, however, they will be helped. Once they have chosen what they cannot complete alone, they are no longer alone. This is section A of chapter five, to have give all to all. And now if you'd like to go ahead and join me in meditation, just go ahead and close your eyes, have your back supported, head and neck free. We are going to review lesson 58. My holiness envelops everything I see. My holiness blesses the world. There is nothing my holiness cannot do. My holiness is my salvation. I am blessed as the Son of God. Spend a moment or two focusing on your breath and coming to your senses. And then move into a silent meditation. I'll have a little bit of background noise, but focus on today's lesson or the mantra of your choice. My holiness envelops everything I see. My holiness blesses the world. There is nothing my holiness cannot do. My holiness is my salvation. I am blessed as the Son of God.
My holiness envelops everything I see. My holiness blesses the world. There is nothing my holiness cannot do. My holiness is my salvation. I am blessed as a son of God. Go ahead and feel these lessons today. These are lessons 36 through 40. Hold on to them. Carry them into your day. Take a moment to think of three things that you are grateful for. I am blessed as a son of God. Let's go ahead and connect to that love and gratitude. Go ahead and imagine your day living as blessed as a son of God and watching your holiness envelop everything you see and feeling it bless the world. It's invincible. There's nothing your holiness cannot do. It's your salvation. I am blessed as a son of God. Thank you so much for joining with me today. I hope you have a beautiful day and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thank you.